What's up, Maverick fans, and welcome back to another edition of Maverick Minute, brought to you by Duncan. I'm your host, Marissa Voss. This Maverick squad recently completed a sweep against the Sun Devils of Arizona State and are on the road again to take on the Bowling Green State University Falcons this weekend. This Maverick squad has lost one game in their last 15. The Mavericks got back to regularly scheduled programming with the ASU series after their outdoor game at HDM. The Mavericks took care of business this weekend with getting four different Mavericks scoring on Friday to take the first game 4-2. Andy Carroll got his first goal of the season and the first goal of the night on Friday. Reacher could have teed it up. He'd had the goaltender dead to rights. Mavericks up front, and they will score! Andy Carroll gets the feed. Hatsmarks upstairs, under the right corner, where Grandma keeps the cookies. <laughs> Friday's momentum carried over to Saturday with the Mavs sweeping the Sun Devils 5-3 and Dryden McKay notching his 100th win. Win number 100 in the career for Dryden McKay. What an incredible number, what an incredible feat for everybody who's been involved in the last four years at Minnesota State. Nathan Smith and head coach Mike Hastings have made the trip over to Beijing for a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to represent their country at the Olympics. I'm extremely honored. Uh, you know, not many people get a chance to uh, be called or call themselves Olympian. He is over the moon that he will have a familiar face on the team with his own head coach joining him overseas. He's pretty good friends with Coach Quinn. And so uh, I think, you know, just having him there and then me being there, the relationship, I'm hoping, uh, you know, we'll be able to kind of lean on each other a little bit here and there just to kind of uh, help each other with being comfortable. The Hobie Baker Award is one of the most coveted awards in college hockey. Two of our own Mavericks are in the running, Dryden McKay and Nathan Smith. Fan voting is open now until March 6th at midnight. That's all for another edition of Maverick Minute. Next week, the boys are on a bye, but they only have one home series in the month of February, 18th and 19th versus Bemidji State. Make sure to mark your calendars for that and get your tickets while you can. This episode of the Mavericks, run on Duncan.